Good morning guys, welcome to episode 3 of Daily Driveway. Today's a bit of a vlog, I'm um, just going to do a few uh, jobs and errands etc. Behind me, we're going to have a talk about my daily driveway car today, which is a Volkswagen Golf GTD. Right guys, as I say, I'm going to do a few things today. I'm going to go for a bit of a drive, talk to you about the GTD, tell you why diesel is still a good proposition for you drivers out there. Also, I am going to do a few other things. I'm going to clean the car, etc. Um, go a few things. So if there's anything you want me to focus on in another video, let me know in the comments below. As always, put your thumbs up or thumbs down. Tell me the truth, what you think about these videos. It steers me in the right direction. But watch me have a look around this GTD. Right guys, we're out for a drive. This is a 7.5 GTD, so it's a two litre diesel, uh, 184 PS, 181 brake horsepower, uh, 0 to 62 in about 7.6 seconds. Uh, 280 foot pound of torque, which is the same as a, as a Volkswagen Golf R to be fair, so it's got a good amount of power, this car here. Uh, this car's got seven speed DSG, uh, the 7.5, the new, newest version of the Golf has got a 7 speed rather than 6 speed. It does make for a slightly better fuel economy on the motorway, etc. Uh, this car's also got a couple of options which I will go through shortly. But just regarding diesel, driving a diesel, a lot of people are used to the power, the extra torque you get from a diesel. Um, MPG wise, I mean, since I've fueled up this car 175 miles ago, I've got 47.6 miles to the gallon on an average. Episode one, I had a GTI. Uh, you may remember that episode there. It's been a while since I've done an episode, so uh, apologies for that, but I'm gonna start doing some more. Uh, my GTI got around between 29 to 33 miles to the gallon. So you can see the benefits of diesel. You do get better miles to the gallon. I mean, it, there's no comparison for a GTI. It's fantastic to drive. This is almost as fun to drive almost as fun to drive but compared to a hybrid again you get the good uh, consistency of diesel you've got to worry about charging up etc uh, if you're doing sort of more than 15,000 miles a year diesel probably is one of the best propositions you can get really because you do see the benefits on on the MPG if you're doing short journeys a smaller car like a Volkswagen up or a I don't know uh, um, and I go somewhere like that, you do get good MPG around town, but for long, long journeys, I do 25,000 miles a year, you do really see the benefits. Right, the good thing about living in Yorkshire, the moors are just a moment away. So let's experience what this handling is all about on the GTD. We've got a lovely Golf GTI, Golf R steering wheel, just the right thickness of rim. This price to say this is a DSG, so I've got my panel shift here into sport mode. I can even knock it across into manual there. It's such a nice chassis. It's not quite as fine as the GTI, as I say, but the chassis is, is fantastic. Um, the car I had before this was a uh, Scirocco R line, which is based on the Mark V chassis of the, of the Volkswagen Golf. I felt a whole lot different to this here. This, the damping is, is beautiful. You can feel everything through the road, through your hands, etc. Even sounds nice for a diesel. That is obviously forced through the resonator on the exhaust, but you can, it just, just handles so nice. The brakes are keen, they're sharp. Up here in the moors, as I say, nine times out of ten you'd be using this car if you buy a GTD for the commute, for the long trips to meetings, etc. But when you need to, it is it is the best all rounder, I think. If you, if you guys can think of any other better all round diesels, let me know. 
we know is the hatchback. It's got a good amount of uh, kit on there. Front and rear parking sensors, Bluetooth, DAB, uh, Apple CarPlay, Xenon lights, LED running lights, power folding mirrors. The list just goes on and on and on. I mean, they start at twenty-seven thousand pounds, around twenty-seven thousand pounds. This one, this one is uh, Isaac Blue, a new colour for modern year eighteen cars. It's a three door. A lot of people don't really like three doors. I, I prefer the look of a three door. I do have a little boy who's six, but he can climb in the back, no problem. It's also got the DSG gearbox, as I say, which is an option. And then this has got the Art Valor's interior, which I'll show you in a little while. But it's a nearly an eight pound option, but it really is comfortable. It's like a suede material. It really, really does suit the car. What are days off for? If you're a car nut, just go for a drive. Now I'm just on my way to the shops, but I stopped past a local Ferrari garage here. You see in there? F40. There's a Mondial just there. 458 Italia. Right down here. 456 GT. Manual transmission. V12. You don't see a lot of them around. But lovely car that one there. Good drive this morning. Great car to drive is that GTD. Good to see some Ferraris out and about there. Time for a bit of lunch before we clean the car. Courgette. Right, time to clean the car now, but I've ordered some new um, ceramic coating for the car. I do like cleaning the car, so I thought I'd try some new ceramic coating out. Hopefully it's here, it's just come in the post. It is, yeah, 9R, sorry, 9, 9H MR Fix Auto Ceramics Coating. Okay, I'll try this this afternoon. Get into it. It's a very small bottle. A little bit goes a long way, I guess. Let's try it out. Now, I do clean my car quite a lot, but you can see she is a bit dirty. Let's give it a clean. Interior wise, you can see it's got the Art Valor's interior. Real soft material, but you can see. Real comfortable, but kind of hard to keep clean. Inside, I just use a bit of this uh, quick detailer. The nine inch touchscreen do get quite a lot of finger marks on, but keeping microfiber in there, jobs are good. Right, interior is clean, hoovered. Who else doesn't like stripes on their seats? Right, let's start on the outside. First off, let's give it a rinse. Right, time for a wash. I use a wash mitt. Reason being, it, the bigger the fibres, the easier it is to get the dirt off the off the paintwork. Also, also always use a, a good shampoo rather than washing up liquid. If you think about when you're washing your dishes, what is the main sort of reason for washing up liquid? Get rid of all the grease in paint. There is a natural sort of oil throughout the paint, which gives it the good sort of uh, hydrophobic effect, as you can see. The more of that oil, natural oils you take out the paint by using very washing up liquid, etc., the easier it is the car for to scratch. Right, guys, I'm going to ceramic coat this car. I need a clay bar at first. Clay bar gets rid of all the tiny little bits of contaminant off the paint. You look to see what comes off this car. 
So if this is the first time you're washing your car as intensively as this here, this is where you would step in and do your sort of paint correction, etc. Where you get your compounds out and your SRPs, etc. To get those tiny scratches, etc. out. But this car is quite new. To be fair, it's only mm, five weeks old. It's done nearly 4,000 miles already, but five weeks old. Right guys, I've rinsed the car again, it took quite a while to clay bar the car, but everything worthwhile does take a bit of time. Uh, I'm just drying the car off now, it's looking really really good at the moment. This is what I use to dry off the car, I don't use a chamois, I use a drying towel, you see how thick that there is. Again the thicker the better, what the, the towel is doing is sucking up the moisture, you don't have to really rub the car at all, the more you rub it, the more scratches you put on the paint. So if you just put the drying towel on, pat it down, lift it up, it's dry. Very, very simple. You know, you just move the towel over a little bit more, pat it down, let it do its job. Dry. Very, very simple indeed. Well guys, hope you enjoyed episode 3, that's the end of the video today, uh, please stay tuned for some more videos, hope you learn some techniques, um, I'm always learning, it's, every day is a school day as I say, uh, please subscribe, please like, please comment and I look forward to seeing you soon, cheers!